Jesus, I've gotten to know you fairly well since you and I have been hanging out together for the last four months. Yes, we have, Mac. Like me, you're not on the computer as much as Winston and Lori. Speaking of them, Lori wants me to wear a face covering. Do I have to? Come on, Mac. Let's try wearing a face covering. It'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be okay. Yeah, it won't hurt you. There, there we go. <laughs> I guess you have another thought on that. Okay, Mac, let's sit you down. This reminds me about what happened almost 2,000 years ago, Mac. My follower, Paul, was spreading my teaching and causing such a stir, he was imprisoned in Rome. He wrote a letter from the prison to a new church in Corinth because he heard that there was disruption and disharmony among the women there. Paul said women should cover their heads and keep silent. Uh-oh, that sounds like trouble. The women were competing against each other as to who was the most attractive and gossiping behind each other's back instead of following the teachings of Jesus. Paul ended the competition and gossiping by telling the women to cover their heads and to be quiet. I've heard it say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. Ove, you're right. However, there was pushback. Hey, Jesus, I think it's Ove. <laughs> Ove, Ove. <laughs> People forgot some of my favorite disciples were women and are women. But covering their heads 2,000 years ago, it lowered the competition. Wearing the face coverings now is lowering the rate in which COVID spreads. So, let me get this straight, Jesus. Coverings over the head or over the nose and mouth serve a purpose, neither of which is political. Well said, Mac. A biscuit for you. Maybe an extra walk. 